What's up, board game people? Where did the first week of July go? I seem to be running late on everything and sprinting, trying to catch up. Well, today, let's knock a big one off our list. This month, we have new games, expansions, and reprints galore. Here are the campaigns I'm excited about and following for July 2022. As always, my opinions are my own. I don't take any money from game companies for making my videos. They're for you, the gamers like me, to help us find new and amazing projects in the crowdfunding space. If I get some things wrong, miss something, or we disagree, please let me know in the comments. Well, it seems being late means that one of these is already launched. In fact, I already have a video for this one, but guess what? I'm still excited about it. Dice Throne Santa vs. Krampus launched on Tuesday and the reveals are already ticking by. It's just a short two-week campaign that aims to release and be in the hands of backers by Christmas. Not only are the Santa and Krampus heroes awesome and full of tongue-in-cheek humor, but this campaign allows you to pick up most everything Dice Throne related at a deep discount. The notable absence here is the Marvel Dice Throne content, which they're not allowed to offer due to licensing. But if you're new to the game or looking for some of the past content, there may never be a better time than now. You can find my Santa vs. Krampus Dice Throne video linked in the video description below. Next up is a game I want to keep an eye on. I want to be pleasantly surprised by the campaign before I consider backing, but I think this game may just have the making of something interesting. Temple of Horrors is sneaking onto Game Found on July 12th, boasting over 100 adventures available in the core game box. Pegged as a tribute to the 80s Dungeons & Dragons, this game will see 1-4 players dungeon delving a forgotten temple in search of a mighty artifact. The minis remind me of Reaper minis from about 10 years ago, which is to say not incredibly detailed, but interesting to look at. What I want to see more of exactly is what sets this game apart from the myriad of other dungeon crawlers on my shelf. We will hopefully find out more when this game goes live next week. Another new game? Silvercoin Age of Monster Hunters launches on Kickstarter on July 19th. I've been covering and following this game for quite some time and I'm excited to finally see the whole project together in one place with a touch of finality to it. This game will have you and your friends vying for influence in the six kingdoms of the land by completing contracts to hunt monsters that lurk within. The variety of monsters in the game will make or break it. Much like the, the other monster hunting franchise, you will need to investigate and learn more about your prey. You'll learn spells, draft cards, and upgrade your characters and their equipment to prepare for battle. If you fell your foe, a large bag of silver will be yours to help you prepare for the next. This game can be played solo, co-op, or even competitive, and hopes are that each of these modes are as strong as the last. We'll soon find out. Ever wanted to tell your boss you quit in absolute but creative terms? Would you like to stick it to the corporate overlords? Do you want an army of deadly robots? Well, if you answered yes to any of these questions, or if you have a semi-regular pulse, I think I might have a game for you. Burn Cycle is returning to crowdfunding on GameFound for a reprint and to add an expansion to this already chaotic game. Burn Cycle is a box full of neoprene and plastic, and I say that in the nicest way possible. The component and production quality of everything you receive is absolutely top-notch. The game itself is described as an office crawler heist game. You're ascending towers of evil human-run corporations seeking to pillage and plunder your way to the top. Each level of the tower has a boss that must be defeated and is chocked full of guards, viruses, and even environmental hazards laying in wait to prey upon helpless little robots such as you. Help liberate the AI on the 19th when Burn Cycle returns to GameFound. What's better than one reprint campaign in a month? Two. Four. No, three, sir. Well, this seems to be a huge month for reprints, which are becoming ever more common in the crowdfunding scene. And honestly, while the naysayers are trumpeting the end of Kickstarter and crowdfunding in general for games, I present these magnificent games as proof that good games and good companies get backing and will survive even in today's all-too-hostile landscape. For an age, the tower lay in ruins. Unbeknownst to the people of the realm, a great evil stirred in its boughs. It started with strange sightings, a flock of crows flying in circles until they dropped from the sky, the lake frozen solid in the height of summer. In time, they could not deny that which they most feared. The evil had not been vanquished. The darkness soon would fall again. The tower will rise. Return to the Dark Towers, rising again for a full reprint and to add an expansion to its already sought-after collection. This time, the tower will be wreaking havoc on Backer Kit. All expansions will be available, 
so those after the hard-to-find and off-sold-out expansions will have a chance to grab them. And if you're a new backer like me, you'll have access to everything. Reviews for Return have been fantastic, and while it's an app-driven game with an essential connected device, everything works well. And last but not least this month, we're seeing Euthia being resurrected. Steamforged Games has performed a miracle in the name of gamers everywhere, in risen Dia Games from the grave. Euthia Torment of Resurrection, Fierce Powers, and everything that was attempted for the Game Found campaign earlier this year will be returning to Kickstarter to finally give gamers a chance to play this wonderful game. If you want a sneak peek of what to expect, please check out my Euthia Fierce Powers campaign guide by clicking above or the link in the video description. Euthia is an amazing adventure game, and the planned expansions look to be top-notch. This should easily be on the top 10 list for this year. So that's it. I'm sure there are plenty of other games launching this month that will catch my eye, but these are the ones that I know about. If you know of a game I missed, please let me know about it in the comments. I always want to find games that lie at the edge of my interest to broaden my horizons. We'll be back soon with our month in review for June, and many more videos that are quickly coming down the pipe. If you like this kind of board game and hobby content, please subscribe, hit that bell, or drop us a like and help our channel grow. Thank you to everyone watching, stay cool, and play something fun tonight.